fingers. And that was like the big thing no one had done before. I mean, there's many things <laughs> they hadn't done before, but one of the biggest was certainly individual finger control. We said we wanted to do that. And we're like, okay, well, how do you do this? Uh, because if you want to, for example, like just bend your fingers over at the joint that connects to your hand and that's it. Uh, okay, sure. You could do that with a prosthetic hand today. You could do that with a robotic hand. What if you want to get like a, like a book grip though? What if you want to, you know, get a kind of a combination of things that happen with using the different flanges of your fingers? So we're like, okay, that means we can't put actuators in the forearm that just tugs strings on the fingers like everyone else does basically, or in the palm, we have to actually put motor actuators in the fingers. And by the way, we're trying to make this thing for 25th percentile adult female size and up. So like imagine like a five foot two woman or or man, I should just say, you know, five foot two person. Um, and like that's a smaller hand. Uh, and so how small do these motor actuators have to be? And we went out and we talked to everyone we knew, Japan, China, Mexico, Germany, everywhere who, do, who makes these motor actuators, all the companies we know, no one had made a small enough motor actuator with all the things we would need, like built in encoding so you could talk to it uh, and, you know, a really high gear reduction ratio. So we just designed it because, you know, they were even telling us like, hey, you know, if you guys make this, maybe we'll want to buy it from you too, like on the side. It's like, oh, OK, well, maybe there's a second <laughs> business opportunity here. Put that to the side for a second. <laughs> Let's just focus. But so even on just that one thing alone, that was probably like months, right, of back and forth with dozens of people to try to figure it out. And looking back in hindsight, of course, now, right, yeah, we've gotten all this preclinical data, people have tested the arm, it's, you know, we're nearing a production intent design and all that. So it seems like, oh, it was really easy, but <clears throat> no one knew those pieces before we did 